What is up, King Killers? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all my everyday makeup routine. I haven't done one of these in a very long time, so I kind of wanted to do an updated version of it. Everything that I'm doing today is what I usually wear in my Instagram pictures or when I am vlogging with makeup on. This is the main look that I go for. But instead of just doing my regular everyday makeup routine, I'm actually gonna be doing a Vogue-inspired makeup routine video. I don't know if y'all watch their YouTube videos where they basically collab with different celebrities and they have them show you their beauty secret products that they use and stuff. So that's why we in the bathroom with it because whenever they do theirs, they be in the bathroom. So I was like, we're in the bathroom. Also, this is not my bathroom, y'all. Your girl is still not moved into my new place. It's been over two months and my house is still empty. And it's been a super stressful, long process. And I'm gonna talk more about it later i don't want to get into that to this video but just know i'm gonna spill the tea whenever i get my furniture and stuff but i want this video to just be focused on the beauty stuff so we're not going to talk too much about that today but that's one of the main reasons why i haven't been putting out content like i really want to that and just transitioning into this my new life being in North Carolina it's all just been a lot so thank y'all for being patient with me thank y'all for just supporting me through everything that's just been going on so yeah that's my little update so before we get into this video I want to give a huge shout out to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video so if you are not familiar with Scentbird if you haven't heard me talk about them on my channel before Scentbird is basically a subscription service that allows you to choose from over 600 brands of some of your favorite perfumes and they offer different designer perfumes from brands like Gucci, Prada, Versace. So each month you'll get your perfume in a cute little bag that looks like this. Nice little drawstring. This is perfect if you want to pop it in your purse or if you're traveling it's super easy to travel with. All you do is just twist the bottom and then it's ready to use and they're super easy to change out. You just twist the bottom and you can pop it out and switch it in with your new perfume. So I just wanted to show y'all a comparison between a regular size bottle of perfume compared to the Scentbird perfume. As you guys can see, you do get a lot of product that will last you up to 30 days. So this month I received three new perfumes. This first one is called Bite Me by Confessions of a Rebel. The second one is by Kinsey and it is called Rosy Bloom. And this third perfume is by Rachel Zoe and it is called Fearless. So I think I'm gonna go with Kinsey today. This is definitely a scent that would be perfect for transitioning from summer into fall. So love the smell of this. Now let's get into the makeup y'all. So my face is already washed and clean and everything. I will be doing a skincare routine soon of some new products that I've been using. So stay tuned for that. So before makeup, I like to go in with a moisturizer and this moisturizer is by Clinique. This is the dramatically different moisturizing lotion and y'all since i've been waiting on my furniture for so long most of like all my products that i got are like travel size because who about to be spending all this money on full-size products that i already have that i just don't have yet because because it's still on the moving truck you know what i mean i have bought this little small lotion to travel with um me and my family we did take a little small trip to orlando about two weeks ago so that was fun or whatever i didn't vlog that much but the vlog footage that i did get i might include it in my next vlog okay so now that we have our moisturizer on i'm gonna go in with the nyx pore filler this is like a primer or at least that's what i use it as hold up now it ain't coming out right today okay there we go but you know it's just gonna give us that little airbrushed look fill in any pores and make our skin look super smooth. Okay, so whenever I do my makeup, I like to start off with brows first before I do any type of base products. So I just have the Elf Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. Looks like this. It's just like a clear gel. If you don't have a brow gel, you can always use you some got to be gel. Put you a little bit on toothbrush or spoolie brush and then just brush it on your brows and I promise you your brow hairs is not gonna go nowhere. And I just like to brush it upwards and then kind of, you know, make them arch a little bit. The little bit of brows that I do have, y'all. I do not get my eyebrows done because I barely have any eyebrows. 
So I try to just make it do what it do with the eyebrows that I got. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Super Fine Brow Detailer. Looks like this. Look at me, going back to my little beauty guru days. Basically just draw little fake hairs in on my brow. Oh, maybe I should get a little bit close up to the camera so y'all can see what I'm doing. Next, I just take the spoolie side, brush it out, make it look more natural. So then to carve out my brows, I'm using the OG product, y'all. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I don't think this product will ever go out of style. Like this is a product that everybody will always love. I don't know the exact price of this, but I know they're super cheap and they work really good. So I just like to take a little bit on my brush and then I'm gonna just curve out the bottom parts of my eyebrows. I gotta be quiet when I'm doing this. When you first get your eyebrows waxed and it look like you got a whole tan underneath, that's, that's what we going for. And I'm just using a little fluffy brush. So to carve out the top of my brows, I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. When they say double wear, y'all, they really mean double wear. This is like a full coverage glam foundation. Like this could probably cover up a tattoo if you needed it to. And when I blend out the line on the top, I kind of just like to bring it up onto my forehead. All right, so moving on to the face. I just haven't been like an eyeshadow, eyeliner kind of girl lately. I've actually been enjoying doing more of a insinuate to my natural beauty kind of makeup look, if you know what I mean. The MAC Studio Fix Fluid SPF Foundation along with the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And I'm gonna combine these together just because my skin tone right now, I ain't been outside. Really dogs. I ain't even been outside like that to get a tan tan, but I also don't have like my super, super winter complexion. So my Estee Lauder foundation is in the shade 5W1 bronze. And then like I told y'all, my MAC foundation is in NC40. So I like to just mix these together and I feel like it just matches my face perfectly. This is the Estee Lauder one. See the difference in the shade between these two? But I like to mix them together. Together. Now I can't find my foundation brush. Okay, so my regular foundation brush must be in my room and I forgot to bring it in here. So I'm just gonna use this brush. This is definitely a powder brush. Definitely not the brush you're supposed to use, but fuck it. Okay, actually this might've been a bad idea. Okay, well I'm just gonna buff it into my skin a little bit and then I'm gonna use a beauty blender because this is definitely a powder brush. And I definitely said I don't put makeup on my forehead. And here I go putting makeup on my forehead. But I am gonna take a little Real Technique sponge, dab this into my skin a little bit more. Yeah, I prefer not to wet my sponge. I feel like it kind of sucks in more of the product than actually keep it on your face, if you know what I mean. So I don't really care about having my beauty sponge damp. Alrighty, so you just wanna dab this all in. Make sure you blend it down to that neck. So I've actually been using a new concealer. This is the Powerflex Tarte C Concealer, and this is in medium tan sand. Do a few little taps under my eye, and you wanna kinda do it upwards to give you more of like a high cheekbone. And then I do a few dots right in between my brows, down the bridge of my nose little cupid's bow area and then a little bit on my chin i do like to go in with the la pro concealer as well and i just kind of add on and a little key tip if you use the la girl pro concealer if you let it sit and get a little tacky first the coverage on it is just even more bomb. So next I have this brush right here. It has this kind of like slanted shape to it. It's perfect for under my eyes. It helps me get into all the little crevices right in between my nose area. So I'm just going to use this to blend out my concealer. And I used to use a beauty sponge for this, but I prefer a brush because it just really gets into the skin better, I feel like, than a sponge does. I just kind of turn the brush on its side and it just gets in there perfectly. And like I said, you just want to blend upward. The more you go up, the more it's going to make your, make your face look like you got a facelift, even though we didn't. 
bam okay so next we're gonna do some contour i'm using the same contour stick that i always use this is actually a foundation stick but i use it as contour this is by Bobbi Brown. The shade is in Almond Skin. I'm also gonna drag this up the same way I did my concealer. And I'm also gonna do on the sides of my nose, but I like to go all the way up to my brow when I do it. Like I start all the way up at the brow and go all the way down. Same thing on this side. And then to give us that snatched jawline, we just gonna outline the face. It's gonna get rid of our little double chin just a little bit, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna use that same brush that I used on my brows. And I'm gonna use this to blend out my nose contour. At the top, I like to kind of drag it inward. I feel like it just kind of adds some dimension. I don't know. I just like the way it looks. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this eye. And then I also like to take whatever's left on the brush and just put it on the bottom of my nose. Sometimes I'll take whatever's left on my sponge and I'll literally just dab it on my brows and it'll kind of just like lighten them up a little bit and make them look like less drawn on, you know? Okay, so now it's time to bake. I'm using the Laura Mercier setting powder in translucent honey, not the regular translucent one. This one has like a little yellowish tint to it. So when you take pictures, it's not gonna give you that crazy flashback and make you look like a ghost when you turn your flash on on the camera. And I like to take these little cheap beauty sponges and then just kind of dab under my eye. I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side. Right after I'm done putting it on, I like to wipe it off. Every now and then, I like to snatch the jawline a little bit, powder over there like that. All right, so next I'm gonna put on some blush. This is the MAC blush in Melba. Literally my favorite blush. Blush. So I just take a little bit, well, not a little bit, a lot of it. And I like to, you know, smile so I can see where my cheekbones at. But yeah, this is like one of my favorite blushes. It just adds the perfect warmth to my face. Yeah, so I'm just gonna use this spoolie again and just kind of brush out my lashes. So underneath my eye, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Medium Brown Powder Duo. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna take a little bit of this, taking that same beauty wedge, and I'm just gonna pull down my eye a little bit and smudge this on my waterline. For setting spray, I'm gonna use the Morphe setting spray. This is the setting mist, my bad. And I'm just gonna spray this all over. Okay, I'm gonna give this a second to dry and then I'm gonna put on my mascara. For mascara, I'm gonna be using the Salute to the Sun. This is in Kim. This is by Uoma. Got this in a PR package. Okay, I'm just taking off my lip gloss and you just wanna use your favorite lip pencil. I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips. And then I kind of like to just draw an X in the middle. And then you just gotta go like this a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with a pink lipstick. And I'm just gonna put this on the center parts. Give it a little mix again. Because I like to go for a super glossy look, I like to go in with some lip gloss right over that. And this just makes it all come together. So I forgot to put on some bronzer, but I'm gonna use the NARS bronzer in Sunstone. Take a little bit of this, go like this, and put this on a little bit. Take your little paper towel. No lipstick will be on the teeth. And this is the co completed look y'all this has been my everyday makeup routine for a while now so hope y'all enjoyed it i hope i showed y'all a few different products than what i usually use because i know i'm always using the same products but i tried to switch it up a little bit for y'all stay tuned for a new vlog coming soon on this whole moving situation 
Also, don't forget to check out Scentbird. The link will be in the description box down below. Make sure you use the code KC2 to get 55% off your first month. Hope y'all enjoyed it once again. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, can kill us. Mwah.